And emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Set to sabotaging this body, his machine, until those children of his soul turn in new motion, and he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart. As I reach my hands to expose wires, I ask myself this, is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better I to die amongst my creations than continue to live as a monster. Word. Or, you know, just man up and do some other shit. Yeah, your kids probably are dead, and they just showed you their own hearts, but come on, who hasn't that happened to? Uh, so apparently to get through here I need to lower some steam pressure. So it is done. The saboteur was me, and the voice on the telephone was him. Well, obviously it was him, if that's what we're going to call him now. It's the name you can give him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember! All I can grasp is a moment when the world split into two pieces and the innards of humanity fell from an orifice torn agape into my open, bifurcated heart. <sighs> Where are they? Where are my children? Where do you ask, Landis? You know the yard so well enough. That's a mystery. Oh, it's class. That, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proven indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize at source. Uh, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges up. Lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fats away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Ha <laughs> ha! Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast, or they risk being trapped and boiled in the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cool mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I am so proud, and then I feed them to the pigs. Ah, such, such a wonderful place. That's just, that's great. This, this place, this place, I tell ya. It's, it's a marble. Uh, Seriously, is that the... is there nothing here? Nothing here. I see no switches, I see no levers. I see this, but it sure doesn't give me anything. Backwards we say, we shall go. Then to the place I did once. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. All about me, the thunder of machinery. 
a blast of boiling steam, I cannot pass without fear of scalding. I am a lobster, cracked, my circulation stagnated, my vital motions impeded. The steam will boil my hole unless I can find a way to shut it off. No shit. Did I need to read that before it would give me the option? Is that literally nothing about here I can't do? I, I see nothing. Automatic pressure regulator shut off. Can I... I would like to break it. Can I smack it with my freaking head? Hurrugga! Okay, let's take a closer look. I would want to say it's something here. But nothing seems to allow me to press anything. Oh. Ha ha! I tried to throw that. Ha ha! You'll never find it. Cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! It probably could have been you based on how crazy you sound already, guy. Seriously, R is supposed to rotate, right? Am I, am I not mistaken? Like, I checked this in the options. R is supposed to rotate objects. Is it just that these guys cannot be, be freaking, you know, like, rotated? Ah, oh, piggy masks. Piggy masks. And craziness. You're losing it. What a my Silver spoon. What did you? But what you do? But but I'm gonna go ahead and just skip that that sentence. Later, you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico, and then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. This spoon was the same you gave to your twins when they used it to dig a hole in their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole. Where will you dig next? I asks. You and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children, and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. But sweet Jesus, my darling Libris, Lilibeth, what am I become? Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, you, you, you're like a storyteller. Okay, we've gone 